फ्रेंड्स आई अभिनव नेगी एंड धीरज सर वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सोम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन दैट इज पी वाई क्यू क्वेश्चन सेशन हियर इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी टेलिंग यू द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ आई सी बेंगलोर आई सी बेंगलोर हैज कंडक्टेड द एग्जाम इन टू थाउजेंड टू टू थाउजेंड एट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एंड नेक्स्ट इट विल बी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर विल बी कंडक्टेड बाई आई सी बेंगलोर सो वट आर द क्वेश्चन दैट हैव बीन आर्स इन दीज प्रीवियस ईयर्स ऑफ ऑल सेट of civil and mechanical civil i will be doing and mechanical your favorite our favorite everybody's favorite dheera sir will be solving the question okay so all these three years civil plus mechanical now if the question is taken by me that is of civil or if the question is taken by dheera sir today that is of mechanical that is equally important exactly equally important for both the branches because the syllabus is same at the same types of question almost same types of difficulty level is been asked for civil and mechanical so guys keep sharing the session one by one me and dheera sir first dheera sir will be telling uh, four to five questions of mechanical then i will be telling you four to five questions of say four to four questions of civil and the process continues until we cover all these three years of all sets of civil and mechanical okay so guys before i start let us go to directly right now i am in <laughs> delhi and sir is in hisar so directly go to the hisar and ask about dheera sir कैसा है वहाँ का एनवायरनमेंट कैसा है गर्मी वर्मी कैसा है सर अभी तो बहुत ज्यादा गर्मी है नाउ राइट नाउ इट इज वेरी वेरी हॉट यस टू डेज बैक इट वाज रेनी सो एट दैट टाइम इट वाज गुड बट नाउ इट इज वेरी वेरी हॉट सो गाइस एस सर हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दीज थ्री इयर्स क्वेश्चन एंड यू विल गेट टू नो फ्रॉम विच एरिया द क्वेश्चन वर फ्रेम एंड यू विल गेट टू नो द लेवल ऑफ क्वेश्चन एज वेल एंड दे आर वंडरफुल क्वेश्चन सम क्वेश्चन आर इजी सम मॉडरेट सम डिफिकल्ट ऑल्सो and you will also get the taste of both the branches together and obviously you will see some of the questions will be repeated also uh, so that is also going to give you a good advantage and if you are talking about the weightage of this subject generally 6 to 8 marks is coming for civil uh, sir am i correct yes 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 sir yes and 8 to 10 marks generally for mechanical for mechanical some is coming slightly more uh, because it is related to production as well and uh, machine design as well so there are two other subjects also which are having application like in civil also there are many subjects uh, which are using the strength of body like structures rcc and steel yes sir okay sir uh, various students are asking me over the email or in telegram uh, that sir uh, ic bangalore is conducting conducting the exam in 2024 so uh, if the exam will be tough or it will be easy so uh, what you want to say for all those students sir i feel this is a very uh, bad misconception which generally students are having and this most misconception i am also facing till the day when we were teaching offline also like student thinks that isc uh, bangalore is going to make the paper so it is not like that uh, obviously this is just a uh, conducting body and when conducting we are talking about from the starting of website to give the notification to give the result that task is there with isc bangalore otherwise paper will be made by a team of experts which is made from iits top nits and then only those teams are going to give the questions then they are reshuffled again and then the paper is selected out of that and that is why uh, you will find sometime some easy questions are there some difficult question are there sometime you will find the same topic is getting asked more also so those kind of things are possible only if the paper is made in that way if one body will be making the paper then it is very high chances that someone will kidnap that professor and <laughs> the those kind of things can happen otherwise uh, these kind of things are not there uh, when i was in my mtech then also my guide uh, was there in such of a team he uh, told after that after the gate examination so then i we know the process because of that so guys it is not like that the paper is made by the team of expert then you may be thinking what is the benefit of discussing these three years papers because my dear anyways pyqs plays very very important role and in that way you will be learning at least 3 years pyqs and they are going to be beneficial because civil questions will be repeated or similar question in mechanical similarly mechanical to civil that kind of transaction also happen and similarly xc questions are also repeated some day we will come up with xc questions as well so i feel now we shall start yes 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 sir so guys uh, this about me and uh, these are some of the sessions that i have taken and about cement and about steel i will be taking in next 2 3 days guys this is the super saturday day okay this uh, series is that is the idea of the genius mind of dheeraj sir okay so in this series this will be starting from next week 
Okay, so whatever the next Saturday will be coming, you will be getting either a video of Know the Legends, where we'll be telling you about some scientists, James Watt, Nikola Tesla, or any other thing. And sometimes we'll be telling you about automobiles. Okay, might be petrol, electric vehicles, hybrid model. Okay, so guys, like Sunday of Funda, you are enjoying a lot. I'm very, very sure that you will be enjoying Super Saturday even better. Okay, so this is the workshop of Joshi, sir. This will be today at 21st May at 12.30 p.m. on Baiju's exam prep app. It will be about detailed strategy to secure All India Rank 100 in GATE 2024. Okay, so this will be today at 12.30 noon. This is my telegram, Civil by Bhinav, sir. You can join here. The PDFs of this session and all the sessions will be telling here. Similarly, for mechanical, uh, the session is, uh, the telegram is mechanical by Bhinav, sir. Okay, sir. Now... Uh, guys, first uh, five questions will be taught by Dhiraj sir of ISC previous year questions. Of course, so of course for both branches, civil and mechanical. Then I will be coming with the other four questions of so. Uh, hello, Abhishek. Keep sharing, guys. Everyone. Okay, sir. Over to you, sir. May I apna yes. ye off kar leta so, guys, now we will be starting with the very first question. Okay, you can see. And I will be expecting that you will be giving the answer for that. And then we will be starting. Yes. So guys, just try to answer this question uh, to see your comments. Yes, Abhishek. Akhilesh. Yes. What would be the answer to this question? Good morning, Akhilesh. Okay, Abhishek has said the answer to be A. So guys, if you see the question is the relationship between the Young's modulus, bulk modulus and poison ratio. So I feel everybody would be aware that E can be written as 2G into 1 plus mu. Similarly, E can be written as 3K into 1 minus 2 mu. If you see properly, A is going to be one of the option. You may be thinking, sir, it is easy question. I already told you in one mark, generally these types of questions are coming in gate examination. So in future also, you will see these questions. Yes, Prajapati. Hello, Akhilesh. Very good, Vineet. Very good. So guys, do like and share the session so that other students can also join. This is one more question uh, that is from 2008. One mark question. So one mark question will be easier like that only. This is once again from Elastic Constraints. Uh, so let us see how many of you give the right answer for this one. Then we will move further. Yes. Akhilesh, Prajapati, Vineet, Abhishek. What would be the answer for this? Yes, what would be the answer for this? Fine, 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 guys. Fine, fine. Very good. Very good, very good. So, Vinith is saying D. Okay, guys. Okay. So, let us see the question. A road of length L and diameter D is subjected to a tensile load P. Which of the following is sufficient to calculate the resulting change in diameter? First of all, I would like to tell you guys, this is MCQ. This is not a MSQ question. So, when you are going to solve this question, you know the formula for delta E is PL upon A. And you know for finding out the change of length, we need to find out the Young's modulus. So if Young's modulus is known, you can find out the change of length. But my dear, they have not asked the change in length. They have asked the change in diameter. So you also are aware that when we are talking about the lateral strain, it is given as minus mu times the longitudinal strain. So if it is minus mu times the longitudinal strain, it means what? If you want to find out the lateral, which is nothing but delta D by D. So that is equals to minus mu times of this is uh, epsilon longitudinal means delta by L. So my dear, you already know that to find out delta, we need E. So the answer for this question should be Young's modulus and Poisson ratio. So many students may be saying, sir, Young's modulus and Poisson ratio. That's why I already said this is not a MSQ. This is MCQ. So if this is MCQ, then how we can solve it? We already know the relations E is equal to 2G into 1 plus mu. So my dear, if you are aware of E and mu, you can find out G. Similarly, if you are aware of E and G, you can find out mu. So any two elastic constraints, if they are known to us, we can find out others. 
So the answer for this question is both Young's modulus and shear modulus. Because if you know about E and G, you can find out others. So the point is, if the, that option should be any two elastic quotient, then also the answer will be correct. So that is how we will be solving this type of question. Very good Abhishek, very good Priyanshu, very good Prudvi. Bahut badiya, bahut hi badiya Akhilesh. So moving to the third question, guys. This is from stress strain diagram. And they are saying that a hypothetical engineering stress strain. Why hypothetical? Because in real materials are not showing that kind of behaviors. We know that. So hypothetical engineering stress strain curve shown in the figure has three straight lines. They have given you the values. And they are also saying that find out the toughness of the material. I feel everybody is aware when we are going to find out the toughness. Toughness is going to be this entire area. Okay. So you need to try to solve this question. And if you are talking about this entire area, we can say there will be a triangle like this. There will be a triangle like this. Then there will be a trapezium like this. Second figure. Then third is once again a trapezium. So I feel if I give this value to be Y1, which is known to us as 100. This is Y2, which is known to us as 140. This is Y3, which is known as 130. So we can find out all these three areas. This length is also given like 0.2 means this is the width. And then 0.6 minus 0.2 means this is 0.4. And similarly, 0.8 minus 0.6, this is also 0.2. So you can see it will be the area of triangle plus area of this trapezium plus area of trapezium. And if we are talking about this, yes, yes, we need very good solve it then. So when you will solve it, you will get the answer for toughness mega joule per meter cube. If you see on Y axis, we are having MPA on X axis, we are having engineering strain percentage. So percentage means what? If you are having the 0.6%, it means we can write it as 0.6 by 100. So 0.6% can be written as 0.6 by 100. So now I am telling you what you will be doing. The first area is half into base 0.2 by 100 into height, height is 100. This is first area. Then second area is 1 by 2. Y1 plus Y2 is 100 plus 140. 100 plus 140. Into 0.4 but a 100. Then you will be having one more area, 1 by 2 into 140 plus 130 into 0.8 by 100. Yes, Abhishek. Yes, Prajapati. Yes, Vineet. What will be the answer for this question? I have already sold it for you. Okay, very good. Vineet is saying it is 0 0.850. Let me check. I have already sold it for you. You can see in the night I have sold all the questions for you. So the answer for this, whatever is given by uh, Abhishek, whatever is given by Vineet, if we see the answer is 0 0.85. So I feel Abhishek, you have made some mistake because that 100 when you will be dividing, then you will be getting the answer to be 0 0.85. 0.85 mega joule per meter cube because if you are talking about the unit MPA, MPA is 1 Newton per mm square. So when you will be converting that mm into meter, then you will be getting a Newton into mega joule. So mega Newton. So for that, you can find out. Yes, 1 Newton per mm square is 1 MPA. So when you will be solving this 0.85 mega joule will be the answer. Very good, Akhilesh. Very good, Vineet. Bhoti badia. Wonderful, guys. You guys are doing nice. Very nice. So this is the question from stress strain diagram. Moving to the next question. Shall we move on? Are we ready? Shall we move on? Are we ready? Very good, guys. Fine. Moving to the next question, guys. This question is from true stress and true strain. So the value of true strain produced in compressing a cylinder to half its original length. So I will say if original length is L, then final length is L by 2. And I feel everybody is aware if you want to find out the true strain, the formula for that is ln 1 plus minus engineering strain. So my dear, if that is the case, this is a case of compression, you will consider minus sign. It will be ln 1 minus delta L upon L. Okay, delta L upon L. So you can see the change of length. Delta L is L by 2. I feel that much hint is enough to solve this question. 
once again a one mark question very good vineet so vineet is saying the answer to be minus 0 0.69 what about others abhishek is saying b very good what about others vine is saying c okay vine vine i feel you made the mistake this is the concept of true strain okay yes 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 great so my dear when you will be talking about the engineering strain that is going to be 1 minus delta L by, okay, sorry, delta L by L. Delta L is L by 2 divided by L. It is going to be 1 by 2, 0. 0.5. Engineering strain is 0. 0.5. So true strain will be ln 0. 0.5. You can also write it as ln 1 by 2. So you can also write it as ln 1 minus ln 2. ln 1 is 0, ln 2 is minus, sorry, 0. 0.69. So 0.69 will be the answer for this. B is going to be the right answer. If it would be a NAT, you will be giving answer up to three decimal places, mind it. Okay. So I feel wonderfully answered this question as well. And next question is this. Once again, from the first chapter, simple resident strain. He's saying engineering strain of mild seal sample is recorded as 0.1%. So engineering strain is 0.1%. Percent means what? 0.1 by 100. You need to find out the true strain. True strain is given as ln 1 plus engineering strain. I feel everybody can answer it. The same formula, formula I'm already giving you. Okay. Sir, first find out. Dear, but engineering stress is not asked. They have asked engineering strain. If they would be asking stress, then we will go like that. Okay, Vineet. Very good. So Vineet is saying C would be the answer. Akhilesh is Abhishek is saying C would be the answer. Yes, Akhilesh, Priyanshu. Yes, yes, yes. Artist, very good, very good. So also for this is going to be C 0.0999%. Here also, whatever the answer you will get, you need to multiply that with 100 to give the answer in the percentage. So whatever the answer you will get, multiply it with 100, then you will be getting 0.0999%. So this is, uh, okay, I feel my questions are over. Abhinav sir will be coming for his question now. So we will be going like that. Five questions I will be taking, then four questions sir will be taking. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. So guys, now next four questions I will be taking and uh, let us go one by one. <coughs> the question is the shear modulus G, modulus elasticity E and Poisson ratio mu of a material are related as. So the relation between A, E and G is asked and same question I was seeing in the mechanical as well. So this gives us a learning that even the previous year questions of civil are equally important for mechanical and same for mechanical, the previous year questions of civil are also important. So we know that E is equal to 2G 1 plus mu. Okay. So from here, that means the relation A is correct. Obviously very easy. It was asked in 2002. It was asked in one marks civil paper. Now, guys, uh, when the is uh, solving the question, uh, one question I have made myself. Okay. One question I have made myself. When you solve the If shear modulus is G, if shear modulus is G for metals, find maximum value, maximum and minimum value of E, Young's modulus in terms of G. What is maximum and minimum value of E in terms of G? Okay. So we know that E is equal to 2G 1 plus mu. Okay. We want to find the value of E in terms of G. So it is also asked for metals. For metals means mu will not be negative. Mu will not be negative. So for E minimum. So mu should be minimum and minimum will be taking as zero. Positive to hogai metals. Ke so for E minimum in terms of G will be two times of G. Malag Young's modulus is bigger than the shear modulus. That means Young's modulus is bigger for the shear modulus. That means normal stress by normal strain ratio is much larger or at least twice the larger than the ratio of shear stress to shear strain. 
this question i have made myself as sir is uh, taking so i guess most of you are seeing this question first time i have not seen so aisa kuch khas hai bhi nahi agar main e maximum ki baat karu this is 2g 1 plus mu so for maximum value of mu for metals is 0.5 so one that is 3g 3g to yahan se aaj hame ek baat par chali yahan se hame ek baat par chali ki metals ke liye अगर कोई आपको ई e का रेंज मुझे समबडी आस्किंग यू द रेंज ऑफ यंग स्मॉलर्स फॉर मेटल्स द रेंज विल बी फ्रॉम 2g टू 3g ओके द रेंज विल बी फ्रॉम 2g टू 3g 4g नहीं आया अभी यहां पे 5g भी नहीं आया ना आएगा गिव मी यस और नो ऑन द कमेंट बॉक्स हैव यू एंजॉयड दिस सेशन हैव यू सॉरी हैव यू एंजॉयड दिस क्वेश्चन हैव यू एंजॉयड दिस क्वेश्चन 2g टू 3g नो 4g नो 5g ओके 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 Now, guys, see, uh, man, I'm not astrologer. I don't know what relation will be asked. I have taken, uh, I not, I have taken. The IC has asked the question on this relation. Might be any other relation may be asked. So I have put this for you. Okay, mood ban gaya sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let us move to the next question. What next question is saying? A mild steel specimen is under uniaxial tensile stress. Okay. A mild steel. This is mild steel, and it is uniaxial means only in one direction. Only in one direction, uniaxial, and it is tensile. Young smolders and yield stress. The value of young smolders is this, and value of sigma y is this. Okay, the maximum amount of steel energy per unit volume that can be stored. now you know that even many times i have derived that also that the strain energy is equal to area of stress strain graph okay if i draw the area of stress strain graph suppose it is linear then this is strain energy per unit volume this is strain energy per unit volume and and kahan gaye okay and If I make the graph of P and A, P and A, then this is strain energy. Reason also I told you. Okay, this is P by area. This is delta by L. So if you multiply area is denominator, length is denominator, it is volume. So denominator is volume, denominator is area, denominator is length. If you multiply, it will be volume. Therefore, it is strain energy per unit volume. It is strain energy. When I why it is strain energy? The primary question. Okay, why it is strain energy? The primary question. Because suppose I am up for applying force on my cheek like this. Okay, so I am doing some work. I am doing some work. That work is stored as strain energy. Okay, now strain energy released. Strain energy. Strain energy released. Strain. I am doing some work now. That work is stored as strain energy. Now work should be force into distance, so it should be p delta. Force into distance. Now why this area is not p delta? This is triangles area, half base into half p delta. But work done is p delta, guys. It is half p delta because in so we apply static load. Load is not p. Load is not p for delta. We apply load gradually, zero, little bit more, little bit more, little bit more than p. Zero load, little bit more, little bit more than p. So average load. For delta deflection is p by two zero plus p by two. Okay. Similarly here. Now, what is the, unless mentioned we always assume to be linear elastic or it is linear. So this is the strain energy area and area is half base into height. Half base it is acts up to yield stress into strain. So Hooke's law is valid. So strain can be written as sigma y by e. Okay. No need to. This is strain energy per unit volume. This is strain energy per unit volume. What in the question is asked? Total strain energy. Total strain energy. Okay. Total strain energy without permanent set. That means they are asking up to elastic limit. And unless mentioned, it is not given. So we take sigma y as also elastic limit. So, but it is not strain energy. It is strain energy per unit volume. But if you see in options, it is given per mm cube. Per mm cube, per mm cube. That is, they are asking for unit volume. Okay, no. So only whatever this area is, that will be the answer because it is asking per unit volume. So sigma y is given, e is given. Not wasting time in calculations. 
Sigma y is given, e is given, so it will be D option. Give me yes or no. Have you understood this? Give me yes or no. Have you understood this? Everybody on the comment box, guys, keep sharing, yeah. Keep sharing. And from next Saturday, we'll be coming up with a super duper series, super Saturday. Okay. Now let us go. Let us now let me check who can do this. Who can do this fastest? Who can do this fastest? Akhilesh Kumar, Vinit Shah, everyone. Everybody, please let me know. Please let me know. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, do, 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 do. Okay. How, how you select without, no, I have not select without calculation, but this is sigma y square by e, sigma y is given, e is given. Now I don't want to do, 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 or do, 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 or do, 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 and time, time waste. All values are given, so I hope that you can put these values in calculator and get the answer. Okay. Guys, see. Two things. If there is some impact load, this is not static load. W is dropped vertically from height edge. W is dropped vertically from height edge. So it will be impact loading. Okay. Now there will be some loss in potential energy. That is MGH. MG means W into H. This is gain in strain energy. Mm -hmm. And strain energy is sigma y square by 2e. Just we have done here. Sigma y square by 2e. This is strain energy per unit volume. So into volume. So into volume means A into L. Now this is constant. This is constant. It is falling from H height only. Yield stress will be constant. So as, sorry, this is constant. Sigma Y, Sigma, this is Sigma max stress. If L will be more and this is constant, so Sigma max will be less. So guys, this is constant. If L will be more, Sigma max, Sigma max has to be less because this has to be constant. So increasing the length, stress will reduce. If you have not understood this way, if you have not understood this way, many times I have done this even in ad free class last week, I have derived this formula. So sigma max is asked. So you can see if increasing the length denominator, so this will be decreasing. Okay. Now let us go to the next question. An elastic isotropic body in a hydrostatic state of stress as shown for no change in the volume to occur, what should be its poison's ratio? Yeah, this will be easier. I guess most of you can do this. Volumetric strain is sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z into 1 minus 2 mu by e. So, of course, when mu is 0 0.5, when mu is 0 0.5, so volumetric strain is 0. This is very easy. I don't want to restrict myself here. This is very easy. If mu is 0.5, volumetric strain is 0, it's absolutely fine. I don't want to restrict myself here. What I want to say further, that it is not necessary that always when mu is 0.5, it will be 0. Suppose mu is something else, but this sum is 0. Suppose this is plus 5. Suppose this is plus 7. And this compression, minus 12. Then, that, then also it will be 0 for irrespective of mu value. If two things are multiplying, and we want answer is 0. So anyone can be 0. Even this can be 0 by mu 0.5 or even this can be 0. So for this kind of load, uh -huh. for this, this is 5, tension, tension, this compression 12. So plus 5, plus 7, minus 12, it will be 0. But here, this condition cannot be there because it is saying hydrostatic loading. Hydrostatic means all three stress are of same sign, either compressive or tensile usually compressive. So if all the three stress are of same sign, plus, 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 or minus, 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 it can, summation cannot be zero. So only option is mu 0.5. Okay. Now the result will be coming for taking up the section from here. Before that, can you please write down your cities and branch? Those students who are here in the comment box, just tell me your cities and branch on the comment box. Let us so see now that for uh, me and the sir, the students are coming from which part of the country. Okay. So Dheera sir, अब आप फिर से मजा दीजिए जो आपका पीछे क्वेश्चन देख रहा है इसमें p by f का रेशियो पूछना है ना सर आंसर मत बता ना आंसर तो इसका सहवाग बता देता था अपनी पहली बॉल पे ही तो 2011 के वर्ल्ड कप में 
ठीक है सर ठीक है सर okay. आप कीजिए ओके थैंक यू सर सो गाइस दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए होरिजोंटल बार विद कॉन्स्टेंट क्रॉस सेक्शन होरिजोंटल बार विद कॉन्स्टेंट क्रॉस सेक्शन इज सब्जेक्टेड टू लोडिंग एज शोन इन द फिगर यू कैन सी देर इज वन फोर्स एफ देर इज अदर फोर्स पी एंड दे आर सेंग दिस यंग मोडुलस फॉर द सेक्शन ए बी एंड बी सी आर थ्री ई एंड ई दे आर मैं एज वेल and then they are saying for the deflection at c or deformation at c to be zero the ratio of p by f is so i feel everybody would be knowing one thing that that if we are assuming this to be bar 1 this to be bar 2 then delta total can be written as delta 1 plus delta 2 so my dear i feel now you would be knowing that this is the case of bar in series that is compound bar and this is the case when they are saying total deformation is zero you know in the series deformations are getting added up okay we need to have answered it so we we know that when it is delta 1 plus delta 2 it is going to be zero because total deformation is zero so you know that uh, it can be written as delta total to be p1 l1 upon a1 e1 plus p2 l2 upon a2 e2 and that you need to equate it to zero and i feel you guys are doing abhishek also have answered it as 4 if you are talking this as a then you must be aware that if i will be taking the section to the right hand side total forces f tensile p compressive so p1 is going to be f minus p and if you take the section here to the right hand side f is there so p2 can be written as f so we just need to put the values of p1 p2 e1 e2 lengths are equal okay when you will be doing that areas are equal so when you will be doing that you will be getting the ratio and yes abhishek yes vinith the answer is correct you will be getting the value what is p1 p1 is f minus p into l upon a into 3e then is equals to plus what is p2 that is f into l upon a into e is equals to 0 now you know l a e l a e will get cancel out and you will be getting the ratio of f to the p p to the f yes p to the f is 4 so 4 is going to be the right answer that's really great so guys 4 is the right answer moving to the next question this is from thermal stresses so this time i am assuming that you will be able to do this first i am giving you the chance to do this question uh sir my okay dosa but i did uh, my graduation that's fine that's fine so shri ram meena you are from mechanical or civil This is the next question. A circular metallic rod of length 250 mm, 250 mm, is placed between two rigid immovable walls as shown in the figure. The rod is in perfect contact with the wall on the left side, and there is a gap of 0.2 mm between the rod and the wall on the right side. If the temperature of the rod is increased by 200 degrees Celsius. the axial stress developed in this road young's modulus is given alpha value is given to us yes 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 fine vinith is saying 240 very good vinith what about abhishek akhilesh akash great 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 shri ram wonderful akhilesh is also saying 240 So guys, now I feel two students have answered. What about others? What about others? Okay. So first of all, you need to find out the delta thermal thermal elongation. That is written as L alpha delta T. You know, length is two fifty mm, two fifty mm. Alpha is ten to the power minus five. Delta T is two hundred. when you will do this you will be getting the answer to be 0.5 mm but out of this 0.5 mm 0.2 mm is allowed it is the case of partially restricted so my dear if you see 0.2 mm is allowed so obviously the resistance will be coming for 0.5 minus 0.2 so the resistance will be coming for 0.5 minus 0.2 which can be written as sigma l upon e from that you will be getting the sigma to be 240 mpa that is the answer given by all of you wonderful guys wonderful ha yes vinith but that is valid for the uh, case when it is 
completely restricted. Okay. Next question is from deflection. This is from deflection. Probed cantilever beam is given to you and you need to find out the support reaction at this end. Let us say this is A, this is B. You need to find out RA. So I feel all of you would be aware of this type of question. This was asked in 2002 for one mark. It is an easy question. Yes. So Vineet have already answered it as B. Very good, Vineet. Very good, Vineet. Yes, Sri Ram, the entire team of Baiju's exam prep will help you. And may you secure this this year. Abhinav sir is also there. Don't worry. Akhilesh is saying B. Abhishek is saying B. Devanand is saying B. Okay, very good. So film stars are also here. Yes. So guys, do like and share the session. Uh, you know that if we are talking about this, this is a support reaction RA. And you know that if you are talking about this point, because at this point, beam is connected with the support. So deflection at this point is going to be zero. And if we are going to use that, because if you will be going for the equilibrium, then you know there will be a support reaction RB also. You can write the equilibrium equation as RA plus RB is equal to W into L. Then you can take summation moment about A to be zero. But the problem is, this is a fixed support. It will give a moment reaction as well. So if you will be going by that, equations will be two unknowns will be three. This is the case of statically indeterminacy. So if this is the statical indeterminate beam, we need to have a compatibility equation, which is nothing but deflection at A to be zero. Now I feel you guys are aware of principle of superposition. You can say that if a UDL is there on this cantilever beam, we are aware that this much will be the deflection. And that deflection is given as minus WL4 upon 8EI, minus 4 downward. And similarly, if we are going to say that, let us say there is a beam on which a vertical force RA will be acting. Because of that, there will be an upward deflection and that will be equals to RA L cube upon 3 EI. Positive means upward. So, you know, overall that deflection is zero. This is the effect of UDL. This is the effect of RA. You will plus them, add them and equate it to zero. So, when you will be adding them and equate it to zero minus WL4 upon ATI plus RA L cube upon 3 EI. Then my dear, equating it to zero, RA will be coming out to be 3WL by 8. So answer will be 3WL by 8. B is going to be the right answer. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Wonderful. Uh, Sri Ram, if temperature will be getting reduced, then the what you are saying is then there will be no contact between them and in that case stress will be zero. Because if temperature will reduce, it will get compressed. Already 0.2 mm gap is there. In that case, you will say stress is zero. Okay. We are moving to the next question, guys. This is from the bending stresses. This is from bending stresses. Very good, Vineet, but RA was asked only. This is from bending stresses. This is a square cross section, 10 cross 10. And you can see the cantilever beam is given to you. Okay, if you see this, okay, I'm making it like this. This is a cantilever beam where force is acting at mid span. One meter here, one meter here. This is 10 Newton. So if you're going to make the bending moment diagram for this, I feel everybody knows bending moment will be coming like this. Like, 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 like this. And this value is going to be 10 into 1. This is minus 10 Newton meter. So that is the value of maximum bending moment we got. Okay. So if we get this, you need to find out the bending stress value. Everybody, everybody, everybody. I feel you are aware that the bending stress expressions are nothing but M upon Z. So bending moment is... 10 minus is only for compression. Sorry, minus is only for hogging. So if you are going to have 10, Z is Z is A cube by 6. 
side is given as A means 10. Can you tell me the answer? Just need to see the right option. A, B, C or D. They have given you the BMD also. Or they can say you can, they are asking you the bending stress expression and curve. As you know, bending stress is given by M by Z, where Z is constant. So whatever be the variation of bending moment, the same will be the variation of bending stresses. So the variation of bending stress and variation of bending moment is going to be same. Devendra is saying A, Abhishek is saying A, Vineet also have said A. Very good, very good, very good. Akhilesh, what is your point of view? Shriram Meena, what is your point of view? What about others? Very good, very good. So guys, the answer for this is going to be A. Okay, if it would be a UDL, then my dear curvature would be coming. So that is why here they have checked two things. One is, do you know how to make SFD BMD? Second, do you know how to find out the bending stresses? So two things are covered in a single question. That is the beauty of this question. Wonderful, guys. So moving to the next question, guys. This is a wonderful question from bending stresses. You can see here F force is acting here. And they are asking you the stresses at this point P. So my dear, for that you need to see the forces on this member. If you are able to find out the forces in this member, you can find out the stress at P. So you can see this is the applied load. You need to see the effect of this force onto this bar. You will be saying that this is the longitudinal axis. So at this point, there is no load directly looking. So we will apply one force downward, other force upward. This F and this F because both are F to maintain the equilibrium of the body, that force is zero. So this F and this F will be making a couple like this. So now it is very, very clear. We are having a bar onto which an axial force of F and a bending couple of F into L minus B is acting. And you need to find out the stress at this point P. So you need to find out the stress at this point P. So I feel everybody is aware of the two effects. First of all, you will see the effect of force F. For that, if you are going to make the stress distribution, I feel everybody is aware. Everybody would be aware that stress would be coming like this. Stress would be coming like this. So this is force but a area. So you can find out the force but a area stress at this point. And now we will see the effect of bending. So guys, just do like and share the session. When you will see the effect of bending, it is coming like this. So these fibers will be in tension. These fibers will be in compression. So when you are going to make the stress distribution, my dear, when you are going to make the stress distribution, you can see here it is tension. So here it will be going like this. Here it will be coming like this. This will be the distribution. So I feel you can find out this value as M Y max upon INA. So this value and this value will be getting added up. Here sigma is force but a area. So you just need to add these two values. You will get the answer. This is one of the best question from bending in gate mechanical paper. Okay, I feel answered. answers have already come from Vineet and Akhilesh. Vineet and Akhilesh are saying answer to be D. And as I said, I have already sold it for you. So answer is correct. Yes. So because of this force, you can see they have given you the area as 2B, 2B, 2B ka square. So you know the stress will be stress, axial stress will be force but a area. Area is 2B ka square. So this is the axial stress. Then the bending stress will be coming out to be at point B as bending moment is M. That is F into F into that is nothing but L minus B. Then you can see the distance Y maximum will be. You know that if the area is 2B, then distance will be B. So because whenever you have a cross section from the neutral axis, this distance will be B. So this is B divided by I and I and is BD cube by 12, but this is a square. So 2B, 4 by 12. So solving it, you will be getting the answer D by addition of these two values. 
everybody got it yes we need 2008 paper was very difficult for mechanical okay so now i will invite once again abhinav sir to join us i have completed five questions now sir would be taking four questions from civil i feel you enjoyed these questions they are the wonderful questions and these types of question you can expect in gate paper yes let us see sir is sir i am here yes sir okay please continue so, from here sir okay dhanyawad sir aapka bahut bahut ओके तो दोस्तों यार मेरा ना एक क्वेश्चन था कि ये आगे वाले क्वेश्चन बढ़ने से पहले आगे वाले क्वेश्चन बढ़ने से पहले बिफोर आप गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी आर डन दिस क्वेश्चन एंड व्हाट वी आर डन दैट फॉर म्यू पॉइंट फाइव द वॉल्यूम विल बी जीरो माय डाउट माय डाउट दैट वेन बलून इज फिल्ड विद एयर वे विदाउट एयर बलून इज लुकिंग लाइक समथिंग लाइक दिस वंस यू फिल्ड विद एयर इट विल बी लाइक दिस so volume is increased volume is increased now my doubt is when balloon is filled when balloon is filled with air volume increases and balloons mu is 0.5 balloon mu is 0.5 so then why for mu 0.5 volumetric strain is zero can anyone reply me on this no vinit how you can decide only on the base of sohm and that too many questions are yet to come for civil and mechanical both just tell me have you understood my doubt you are saying for mu is equal to 0.5 that is rubber volume is zero and i am saying when you fill the with air the volume increases then how this happens how this happens nobody sab har mani fir wo bachpan mein karte the na har mani guys because this formula is for material not for inside volume For inside volume, you will be seeing the volumetric strain in pressure vessel chapter. No, 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 Akshay. Balloon is rubber. For rubber, mu is point five. Okay. Inside volume increase or decrease, we study in thin pressure and vessels, thin cylinder, thin sphere. There we will be studying inside volume. Here, this volumetric strain formula is not for inside volume. This volumetric strain formula is for material. not inside volume and for material volume is not changing even if it is like this the thickness is decreased the material material is this yaar material is this this volume is not change if length is increased thickness is decreased this volume and this volume both are same everybody got it let's move to the next question that is question for civil it was asked in ice by ic bangalore in 2002 in one marks and the question is the member the figure is something like this ab is carrying a w load member 1 ab carries shear force at bending moment member bc this vertical member carries axial load and shear force now when sir was solving the question i have made the free diagram so that you should not be time should not be wasted okay so here w will be coming okay i cut all these three parts ab bc and b differently so for equilibrium here internal for w should be coming for that force equilibrium downward w upper w now this will be a w into some distance w into some suppose this distance alpha w into alpha clockwise moment so here w into alpha anti clockwise moment will be coming internal force are always equal in magnitude and opposite in direction w upward here the w downward here If W alpha here anti-clockwise, here it will be clockwise for balancing vertical member BC. For balancing vertical member BC, W downward, so W upward. Here it is clockwise movement. Here it is anti-clockwise movement. W alpha. Internal force equal in magnitude at opposite in direction. Here W upward, so at the here down downward. Here W alpha clockwise. Sorry, anti-clockwise. Here W alpha clockwise like this. Have you got this? Give me yes or no in the comment box. Give me yes or no in the comment box. Have you understood this, or should I repeat it again? Otherwise, in exam, this can be directly drawn. W downward. Take W downward here. What is the movement of this W at C point? W into alpha clockwise. Directly also you can do this. Now, if you see AB, there is a shear force. If you cut a section here from right hand side, W force. It is a shear force. Also movement also, movement also there. 
So, ma'am, it is correct. It is having shear force and bending moment both. But in BC, W load is coming, but no shear force is not coming. If you cut a section here, this W is axial, not shear. This is not tangential to this green section. This is not tangential to this green section. It is axial force. So, in member BC, shear force is not coming. Only axial force is coming. So, this is wrong. So, statement 1 is true and 2 is false. Have you got it, guys? Come on. Give me yes or no, yaar. Everybody. 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 I will break the screen for the smart board. Ki. Okay. Now, next question. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful question. 2016. IC Bangalore. Two marks. 2016. It was asked in two marks. Now, what is here? There is some structure like this. B is a roller support. And here it is a pin support. Pin support means here this RA and HA both can come. In any direction, my answer will be negative if I take wrong direction. And here only vertical direction come, come HB. Okay. So they are saying RA vertical. Okay. They are not saying H. They are saying it is R A vertical, R A horizontal, and this they are calling calling it R B horizontal. Tell me answers. Tell me. Now, for equilibrium, summation F Y is equal to zero. So total downward force here there will be no vertical force as it is roller. So P is equal to R A V. Downward force P is equal to vertical force because only one vertical reaction. So RAV is equal to P. So of course, this cannot be the answer. This cannot be the answer. A and B will not be the answer. Even if I don't know anything further, 50% chances that I will be correct because only two options are left. That is C and that is D. Any doubt? Okay. Now, if I take moment about a point, a moment about any a point has to be zero for equilibrium. So this P is anti clock or anti clock is negative. P into 1.5, negative. Okay, moment of this and this will be zero because they are passing from A only. So moment will be zero. Moment of now this, RBH, it is also, Anticlockwise RBH into distance is how much? 6 plus 2, 8. It is also anticlockwise is equal to 0. So RBH is equal to minus 1.5P. That is 3P by 16. And minus means my direction is wrong. Actually, the direction is here. That is 3P by 16. And this RAS direction will be here then. So it is 3P by 16, that means 1.5 by P. So how much it is coming? How much it is coming? RAVP is equal to P. Okay, RBH is equal to 1.5 by 8. And again, since both horizontal it has to be in equilibrium. So if this is 3P by 16, 3P by 16 come, 3P by 16 and 1.5 P by 8 both are same. So if horizontal has to be equal, na, so RBH and this has to be equal. So this is the option. Have you got it? Everybody guys keep sharing the session so that more and more sessions can join. And guys, let me tell you from next Saturday, from next Saturday, super Saturday will be coming guys. Okay. Where you'll be enjoying every Saturday, either a biography of a scientist, his inventions, his discovery, his innovations towards the science and sometimes the vehicles, the automobile sectors. Okay, how many questions I've done? Two. Now this one. Poro. Poro by. Okay, tell me the bending moment there. 18 to 8. 640. Bending moment. Bending moment here is 640 Newton meter. What will be here? 20 into 8. That is 
160 acting of center of mass that is 4 so 160 into 4 is again 640 and let me tell here 6 for only one thing bending moment here is also 640 so bending moment is same so that means this cannot be possible this cannot be possible these two can be possible now the next is shear force shear force there is 80 no no i cannot say 80 because reaction is also there okay so shear force the moment there let us calculate shear force here so shear force here is how much 20 into 8 that is how much 160 and shear force here is zero shear force here is zero at which point it is r okay and at p it is at p it is 160 what will be at q what will be at q tell me tell me we have to find this also r tell me there we have find out it is zero it is 160 what will be the reaction here tell me guys everyone okay night net vertical displacement as it is as it is support has to be zero so 18 to lq by 3i and minus r lq by 3i is equal to zero so it will be 80 so there it will be 80 so zero here subset less it is least in r then in q 160 okay no 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 it is more in q in q it is this is q na okay then in sorry least it is in r that is zero then more than r it will be more than r it will be in q and of course more than p it will be in q yes c option c option give me yes or no okay this was asked in 2017 okay wrong the major principle stress what is sigma x tension that is 5 sigma y is also 5 tau xy is not given and principal stress is 10 megapascal tau is asked so we know that the principal stress is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 sigma x like this so 10 is equal to 5 plus 5 by 2 is equal to 5 plus 0 plus this. So that has to be tau x y value has to be 5. That is B option. Tau x value has to be 5. There are how many questions I have done? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Over to Dhira sir now. Fine okay. sir. For a time, Lilia sir, I have done Are sir. <laughs> Okay, guys. Uh, so now we are here once again with the next questions. Okay. So I feel everybody would be able to answer this question is related to principal stresses. A solid circular shaft of diameter 100 mm is subjected to an axial stress of 50 mp. It is further subjected to a torque of 10 kilo Newton meter. Okay. The maximum principal stress experienced on the shaft is closest to. So, they have already mentioned the axial stress sigma A is 50 MPa. And you know, shear stress can be found out as 16 T by pi d q. So, once you will get the shear stress, you can write down the state of stress to be like this. This is axial and this is shear. So, guys, when you will be writing or putting these values from that, you will be able to find out the principal stresses. What is the formula? Sigma xx plus sigma yy by 2 plus minus square root of sigma xx minus sigma yy by 2 ka square plus tau xy ka whole square. Here sigma xx is nothing but sigma a. Sigma yy is 0 and tau xy is equals to tau. So just put the values, get the answer. Yes, Vineet, Akhilesh, Akshay, Abhishek, Akash.
Please tell what will be the answer for this question. I feel all of you are able to find out this. Then we will see the next question. Yes, 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 everyone. So I have already solved it for you. So when you will be solving uh, this tau maximum, tau maximum, this will be coming out to be 50.95. So we got both the values. Then you need to just put these values here and you will get sigma 1, 2 as the question is asking the maximum principal stress. So what would be the answer? Akhilesh, Vineet, Akshay, Abhishek. What will be the answer for this? So guys, do like and share the session. We are still left with. Okay. So when you will be finding out the maximum normal stress, it will be coming out to be 82 MPA. So answer for this question is going to be B. Everybody got it? Yes. So this is how we will be doing this question. So guys, next question is this one. A shaft with a circular cross section is subjected to pure twisting moment. So we are having a shaft which is subjected to a pure twisting moment T. Then the ratio of maximum shear stress to the largest principal stress, the ratio of tau max but a sigma max that is asked this is a wonderful question let us see how many of you will give the right answer for this one yes Vinet, Akhilesh, Akshay, Abhishek what would be the answer for this one what would be the answer for this one this is from torsion this question is from torsion Yes, guys, please tell, please tell. I feel everybody is aware that this is the case of pure torsion. And if you are going to see the state of stress for this, the state of stress for this will be coming like this. This is the case of pure shear. And whenever we have the case of pure shear, whenever we have the case of pure shear, we know that there are two principal stresses. One is this sigma 1, other is this, sigma 2. And when you will find out sigma 1, it will be coming out to be plus tau. Sigma 2 will be coming out to be minus tau. Okay. And when we are talking about the tau max, tau max is defined as sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2. It will also be coming out to be tau. So when you will be taking the ratio of tau max to the sigma max. Tau max is tau. Sigma max is tau. The ratio will be coming out to be 1.0. So for this question, my dear, B will be the right answer. B will be the right answer. Okay. So I hope everybody understood this. Moving to the next question, guys. Moving to the next question. Okay. This question is Asking us, very good Akhilesh, Bhoti Badia, wonderful, B was the right answer. Try to solve this question now. A machine element XY, 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 fixed and is X, subjected to axial load P, transverse load F, and also a twisting moment T. The most critical point from the strength point of view is a point on the circumference at location Y, a point at the center at location Y, a point on the circumference at location X, a point at the center of location X. What would be the right answer for this? This is a case of combined loading. I feel everybody is aware of one thing, that the effect of axial load will remain same throughout its length. So we need not to think with respect to the P, because the effect of P will be same throughout the length. We need to see with respect to this F and T. 
I feel if length is L, everybody is aware that if I will be making the bending moment diagram for this, then bending moment diagram will be like this. So this F will be creating maximum bending moment in this section. So because of that, you are aware that we will be getting the maximum bending stress at X. And the effect of twisting moment, whenever we are talking about, it is also not depending on length, but it will be depending on cross-section. So, you know, whenever we are having circular cross-section, twisting moment effect will be maximum at the outer section, at the outer of cross-section. But it is independent of length. So, on length, if something is depending, that is force, bending moment effect, and nothing else. Okay, TPM have given the answer to be C. What about others? Yes, Akhilesh, what will be answer according to you? Akshay, what will be answer? Vineet, are you there or not? What will be the answer for this? So obviously, when we are talking about the force P and twisting moment point of view, it is going to be same throughout the length, but it is going to be maximum at the outer periphery in case of torsion. For P, it is going to be same. So we can say maximum effect will be there on outer periphery. Now, if we are talking about the bending moment, it will be maximum at the X. So you can say outer periphery at X should be the right answer. A point on the circumference at location X. Because circumference will give you maximum torsion, X will give you maximum bending. So C is going to be the right answer. Sure, TPM, all the best. All the best. You will definitely crack the interview for sure. Yes, wonderful. C is going to be the right answer for this question. So guys, moving further now, uh, this is the question. This question says a two-dimensional fluid element rotates like a rigid body. At a point within the element, the pressure is one unit. So pressure is one unit. And it is a fluid element. So in the fluid element, it will be a hydrostatic state of stress. I feel everybody is aware. In hydrostatic state of stress, the magnitude, sir, just discussed magnitude direction remain the same. So it is going to be like this. And they are saying the radius of Mohr circle for this. Okay, 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 Vineet, no issues, no issues. We are also, uh, I feel more than 70% uh, we have also completed. TPM is saying the answer to be B, very good. So my dear, whenever we have this hydrostatic state of stress, and if we are going for Mohr circle of this, in the fluid mechanics also you study, for this Mohr circle will be a point on x-axis at a distance of this P, okay? So if we are going with the conventional method, then also, you know, on the X phase, the state of stress is minus sigma comma zero. Y phase also minus sigma comma zero. So when you will be going for that, it is going to be minus sigma comma zero, where sigma value is P. So the answer for this is going to be B. And this will give you the Mohar circle to be at a, as a point. Very good TPM, very good Achilles. Both badia. Wonderful Achilles. You are also doing very nice. And if you will be going in that way, you are going to get whatever you want from this exam. So guys, the last question from my side. Okay, then Abhinav sir would be coming. Just wait. Yes, this is the question. From thin cylinder. A thin cylindrical pressure vessel with closed end is subjected to internal pressure. Closed end means longitudinal stresses would be there. The ratio of circumferential stress to the longitudinal stress. That ratio you need to answer. It is also an easy question. Okay. So we are going to have the mixed combination. Someone is difficult. Someone is easy. Someone is moderate. So that wonderful combination we are moving with. Yes. Achilles, this time I will wait for your answer. Achilles, TPM. What would be the answer for this? Okay, TPM have said the answer to be 2. Very good, very good, guys. Wonderful. So, answer will be option D this time. Because we know circumferential stress is given as PR by T. 
and longitudinal is P R by 2 T. So when you will be looking the ratio, the answer will be 2 for this. And this will be the answer. Very good, Akhilesh. D will be the right answer for this. Okay, let us see one more question. Let us see one more question from columns now. The ratio of Euler's buckling load of column with the same parameters having both end fixed and both ends hinge. So you need to find out buckling load for both and fix to the buckling load for both and hinge. This ratio you need to answer, my dear. I will give you a hint. I will give you a hint that buckling load formula is given as pi square EI minimum upon LE ka square. So buckling load is inversely proportional to LE ka square. And if that is the case, LE for fixed and you know is L by 2 because when we are talking about this column so you know when both ends are fixed L by 2 is the affected length then when we are talking about both and hinge then you know that is the standard case for that the length affected is going to be L okay I feel everybody is aware of that so when you are going to put this value you will be getting the answer you can see it is inversely proportional to L ka square so what would be the answer here? Abhishek TPM. So here we can write LE both hand hinge ka square. LE both hand fix ka square. LE hinges L ka square. L by 2 ka square. The answer will be. Very good Akhilesh. 4 will be the right answer. B is the right answer. Wonderful guys. B is the right answer. Okay, I would uh, call Abhinav sir now to continue for the next four questions. Yes, Abhinav sir. Badaye. Okay. So, guys, the next question in 2008 by C. Bangalore for two marks. The question is that the maximum tensile stress at the section xx the maximum tensile stress at the section xx is asked okay now so xx section will be looking like this if i see the xx section it will be looking like this this is b and this is d by 2 and the neutral axis will be here for section xx that is d by 4 and d by 4 okay now p load is acting here at this level so if i want to convert this this level this will be p if i want to convert here at center of mass it will be a moment also that is p into distance now stress will be coming of two things one due to p and one due to pd by 4 due to p it will be tensile called as direct stress tension that is force by area force by area is bd by 2 so it is 2p by bd this is due to this orange color due to this green color also the stress will be that is m by i into y for this kind of movement Hogging movement, it will be tension above and compression below. Tension above, and it will be the maximum. Tension is asked now. So this and this will be added. Of course, this is 2P by BD. And this and this will be added for maximum. Maximum is here. This is constant everywhere, but here the maximum tension is here. This is M by I into Y. M is this. I is BD cube by 12. M by I into i into y max what is my max here d by 4 what is i b d cube by 12 b d here is d by 2 by 12 putting all these values here you will be getting 6 p by b d so maximum is 2 plus 6 that is 8 p by b d okay guys audio video fine please let me know Audio video fine. Everyone, did sir audio video chal raha hai camera? Yes, yes, sir. Sahi buffer to nahi ho raha. 
नहीं नहीं सर सही है ओके आफ्टर रिटेन एंड वेट ओके रिटेन एंड वेट का एक हम आपको सेशन बता देंगे ठीक है बहुत बच्चों का फर्स्ट काउंसलिंग आया है नो no, फ्रीज नहीं करना है फ्रीज मतलब आपको वो चीज चाहिए रिटेन एंड वेट पर ही करना है आपको अगर उससे बेटर चाहिए अच्छा मॉडल्स और रक्चर क्या होता है कि मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस कितना ले सकता है ये तो इसका बैंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम ऐसा बनेगा मैक्सिमम मूवमेंट विल बी हियर दैट इज 11.25 पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू वन फिफ्टी किलोमीटर एम एम हेयर द रिएक्शन विल बी सेम ना इन टू डिस्टेंस एंड मैक्सिम इज एम बाई आई इंटू वाई दिस इज मॉडल ऑफ रक्चर एम इज दिस दिस इज एम आई इज बी डी क्यू बाई ट्वेल्व तो डायमेंशन आर गिवन बी डी क्यू बाई ट्वेल्व एंड वाई मैक्स इज वाई मैक्स इज सेवेंटी फाइव पुटिंग दिस वैल्यू द आंसर यू आर गेटिंग एज लेट मी चेक पुटिंग दिस वैल्यू वेर इट इज द आंसर यू आर गेटिंग एज थ्री मेगा पासकल आंसर इज थ्री इन मेगा पासकल ओके नेक्स्ट इज दिस गाइज प्रॉप्ड कैंटिलीवर इज देयर नाउ वॉट इज द रिएक्शन हियर नाउ दिस यूडियल इज पुटिंग डूइंग वट यूडियल इज पुटिंग इट डाउनवर्ड एंड बी इज पुटिंग इट अपवर्ड नेट डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ बी हैज टू बी जीरो नेट डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ बी हैज टू बी जीरो बिकॉज इट इज सपोर्ट सो ड्यू टू यूडियल इट विल गो दिस मच डाउनवर्ड and due to this rb it will go this much upward and both has to be equal due to rb this wants to go this much upward due to w this wants to go this much downward and both has to be equal because at support the net deflection is zero so rb is equal to 3 wl by 8 next question guys if the flexural rigidity ei is given w uniform load intensity is given and maximum slope is asked guys whenever the beam is symmetrical symmetrical beam and symmetrical loading what happens sfd is anti symmetrical and bmd is symmetrical and deflected shape is also symmetrical because deflected shape depends on bmd so deflected shape will be like this deflected shape will be like this bend m diagram if you make will be like this movement diagram okay uh, the maximum slope will be at a or at this is d and suppose this is b this is c and this is suppose d and let it be e this is m by now applying area movement theorem since this is a symmetrical deflected shape area movement theorem since this is a symmetrical deflected shape so at the center what is the slope zero so theta c minus theta a theta a is also theta max that has to be find out is equal to area of m by e diagram from a to c movement diagram you all can make and when you are making the movement uh, this diagram the value will be 10 by ei here movement will be 10 so m by ei diagram will be 10 by ei and here it will be 12.5 by ei this is m by ei diagram theta c is zero theta a we have to find out and this area we have we can do now every value is known every value is known so this is suppose a dash so this is equal to a dash from this equation only one unknown from this equation only one unknown so we can find out theta a sorry theta a theta a will be minus 0.3611 into 10 ki power minus 3 radian now dhira sir will be carrying up for next five questions then i'll be again coming with more four questions of yc bangalore som p y q okay okay guys so now we will completely uh, uh, 
quickly complete because I feel this is the last set from my side. Let us start now. So a simply supported beam of length 3L is given to you and they are saying that it is subjected to loading like that. So I feel you can see if this is the loading, this P and this P are two equal and opposite loads separated by a distance. So obviously they will be creating a couple. So this beam is equivalent to a simply supported beam like this, where you can say that there is a moment that is like this, which is equal to P into L. You know, whenever we are applying this moment at any location, you can apply this. Its effect for reaction is going to be same only. So if you will be finding out the support reaction at here and here, let us say this is A. Okay, this is A. So this is B, this is C. So you can write RB and RC values. So when we are talking about RB and RC values, you can very easily find out. So uh, when you will be finding out, you know that the total length is 3L. So you will be getting the value as PL upon 3L. So P by 3 will be the answer. This is minus P by 3. This is plus P by 3. Okay, that you will be getting. So after getting the support reaction, if you want to find out the moment at A, then you know moment at A can be written as, because of RC, it will be in anti-clockwise. So minus RC, or you can say if it is sagging, you are taking RC into, that is L plus L by 2, 3L by 2, minus P into L by 2. Then when you will be finding out, you will be getting the answer to be 0, because they have asked the bending stress at point A. So when bending moment at point A will be 0, then bending stress will also be 0. So answer for this question will be 0. Uh, yes, I have already solved it for you as well. So answer for this is going to be 0 as they are asking the bending stresses. Okay. So answer will be 0. Is it clear? So shall we move on? Yes, moving further. This question is for strain energy. A b c and d so when you will find out this a b c and d these are four points and similar question right now uh abhinav sir have also taken because in civil and mechanical some questions are very much similar you will find so if you see the bmd for this case as it is a symmetrical loading previous was not symmetrical if you see previous question one force is upward, other is downward. But here both the forces are downward. So by symmetry directly we can say that this reaction Ra will be equals to P and this reaction Rd is also equals to P. When you will see the bending moment diagram, this type of bending moment diagram will come. As this distance is L, so this value will be P into L. This is also P into L. Okay. So my dear, you know, when we are talking about the strain energy, we need to find out for finding out strain energy. You can divide this beam into three parts. Strain energy of AB, strain energy of BC, strain energy of CD. So when you will be finding out strain energy of AB, I am taking this section to be 1,1, one, one, this section to be 2,2, two, two, and this section to be 3,3. Three, three. Okay, are you getting it, guys? Yes, very good, Akhilesh. Both badia. So when you are going to see these three sections, so U, A, B can be written as 0 to L, M11, square DX, upon 2 EI. Then for B, C, you will write L2, L2, 3 L, M22, square DX, upon 2 EI. Then if you see by symmetry and the last part, you are going to take section from here. Then the strain energy of CD part and AB part will be equal. You can directly multiply this by 2. And now you know M11 can be written as, that is RA into X or P into X. And M22 is very, you can say easy because this is BMD. So it is equals to PL. You just need to put these values and get the answer. Guys, whenever the question is coming from deflection, na, it is going to be a two mark question and generally it is going to be lengthy only. So always whenever you are attempting these kind of question, take care that it will take time. 
So when you will be solving this question, you will be getting the strain energy to be after putting the values integration. Okay, I feel I can help you in that. This is two times. Then you know p p ka square, p ka square upon two e i. Then you know x square can be written as l cube by three. Okay, then the second part is m two two that is l to three l. Here you will be putting p square, l square upon 2 ei is common dx ka integration will be x x ki limit is 3l minus l so when you will be solving this you will get the answer 4 p square l cube upon 3 ei just you need to add them 2 here 2 here 2 plus 2 is 4 so you will be getting this 4 p square l square upon 3 ei okay so very easily we can find out this 4 p square l cube upon 3 ei you need to find out what the strain energy stored in the beam that is what needs to be calculated. Is it clear for everyone? Very good, Akhilesh. Very good. You have answered it. Great. C will be the right answer. So moving further, guys, uh, to the next question. This is a very good question from Torshan. And it was asked in mechanical paper in 2016. It is a good question. So if you see this question, what he is saying? Two circular shafts made up of same material as he said same material he is talking about two shaft g1 is equals to g2 then he is saying one shaft is solid other is hollow i am taking one to be solid two to be hollow have the same length l1 is l2 same polar moment of inertia j1 is j2 both are subjected to same torque t1 is t2 then my dear, you are already aware that theta is given as TL by GJ. If their torque equal J equal L equal G equal, obviously everything is going to be equal. Then theta solid can be written as theta holo. That is true. If you see this thing in all the option, A is having theta of solid is equal to theta of holo. D is having theta of solid and theta of holo. It means B cannot be the answer, C cannot be the answer. Here answer will be either A or D. Let us see what is the next part the question is asking. Tau S is the maximum shear stress in the solid shaft. Theta H is angle of twist. Tau H is the maximum shear in the hollow shaft. Which one of the following is true? So you need to see whether stresses are equal or stresses are unequal. Yes, if you want to answer, you can Akhilesh. I will give you the hint that you know tau max upon R is equals to T by J. So you can say tau is equals to T into R by J. When torques are same, J are same. So the ratio of T by J will be same. So from that you can say tau is directly proportional to R. They have not said that radiuses are equal. And that is also maximum tau when we are talking about it should be at outer radius. So if outer radius of both are equal, then the stresses will be equal. Otherwise, will not be equal. So for that, we will take the benefit of J. JS is JH. For solid, you can write pi by 32 ds ki power 4. This is pi by 32 d naught to the power 4 minus di to the power 4. From that pi by 32 will get cancelled out. So if ds ki power 4 is equals to this, obviously ds will be lesser than d naught. So in that case, obviously the answer is going to be d for this. So a is not a answer. d will be the right answer. I feel everybody got it. Okay. So, okay. Then this question, the last question from my side, but it has two parts. A cylindrical container of radius R is 1 meter, wall thickness of 1 mm is filled with water up to a depth of 2 meter and suspended along its upper rim. The density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. 
एक्सलेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी इज टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्र द सेल्फ वेट ऑफ द सिलेंडर इज नेग्लिजिबल द फॉर्मूला फॉर हुप स्ट्रेस इन द थिन वोल्ड सिलेंडर कैन बी यूज एट ऑल पॉइंट अलोंग द हाइट ऑफ द सिलेंडर ऑफ कंटेनर वाई ही सेट दिस थिंग जनरली वी डिराइव द फॉर्मूला बाई कंसिडरिंग द गैसेस इट इज गिविंग द लिक्विड एंड विद लिक्विड और फ्लूड यू कैन से प्रेशर विल वेरी अलोंग द डेप्थ because whenever we are talking about they are asking at a depth of 1 meter so i feel you guys are aware that if i want to write pressure at any section it is given as rho g x where x will be the height okay from free surface like from free surface if you are moving x distance away pressure will be rho g x that is the case so they are asking that all the things are given to you all the things and they are asking about at 1 meter the question is the axial circumferential experienced by the cylinder wall at the mid depth so i feel everybody is aware that circumferential stress is coming because of this pressure and this pressure is variable so here it will be zero and linearly varying like this so if pressure is linearly varying he is asking you stress at this section so for this section xx if you write the formula for circumferential stress you will write pxx r by t so my dear you know from the free surface at x distance below it is going to be rho gx into r by t so it is going to be rho g here x is given as 1 meter because total is 2 meter so this is going to be 1 meter radius is also you can say 2 r is 1 meter density is given as 1000 g is given as 10 so when you will be putting all these values thickness is given as 2 mm 2 mm or 1 mm 1 mm so when you will put all these value you will get the answer to be 10 mpa this is the topic this is the value of circumferential stress now when we are talking about longitudinal stress longitudinal stress is coming because of the pressure exerted on to this surface and you know for this surface pressure is going to be maximum pressure which is rho gh and this is the case when we are handling it from the top so stresses will be generating in the wall because of this pressure so because of that you can say the pressure maximum i feel this is getting hanged okay so pressure maximum we got as rho g h so for longitudinal stress it is going to be p max into r by 2t so pressure is rho g h if you see previous height is we have taken here 1 meter this total height is 2 meter so this time it is rho g capital h r by 2t so if you will see 1000 into 10 into 2 into 1 2 into 1 you will get once again 10 mpa so longitudinal stress is coming because of this pressure only so that is going to be same throughout we are finding out because of p max so answer is going to be 10 10 circumferential is variable longitudinal is constant here okay so 10 10 will be the answer this is the one of the wonderful question then they have asked if young's modulus and poisson ratios are there then find out the longitudinal strain in the cylinder axial strain then longitudinal strain can be written as long it and they have asked at the mid depth only why because circumferential strain is very stress is variable so you can find out only at some of the depth so you will be writing sigma longitudinal upon e minus mu times sigma c upon e so now all the things are given to you you have calculated this as 10 this as 10 poisson ratio is given to us as 0.3 e is 100 dpa when you will keep all these values the answer will be coming out to be anybody have solved very good akhilesh is doing the questions so previously a is the answer is correct akhilesh what will be the answer this time you know it is 1 by e is common 100 gpa gpa means 10 to the power 3 longitudinal is 10 minus 0.3 times of 
very clear cut we can answer it 7 into 10 power minus 5 because 10 minus 3 will be 7 so 7 will be the right answer for this question guys and all the questions we have done one question i will be giving you as a homework and that question is this one this is very easy question i am giving you the hint this p and this p they together are creating a twisting moment onto this so this question is homework for you okay when i will share the pdf of this onto my telegram channel mechanical by dheera sir mechanical by dheera sardana and also it will be shared on the abino sir's telegram channel so there I will share the answer and solution to that as well. But this last question is homework for you guys. All other question I have already done for you guys. You can see, okay, so around 20 questions of these three years are done. So I will call now Abhinav sir for the final round of questions. Okay, sir. So guys, in this question, there is a figure one and figure two. Okay, this is figure one and this is figure two. Two beams, figure one is PQ, fixed with P and a roller supported Q, as shown in the figure one, which allows vertical movement and XZ. This is X, this is Z, is beam two, and XZ beam is hinged at the center. That is that why it is hinged. EI length, EI is same, length is uh, L and 2L. Now, let the maximum deflection and maximum rotation be delta max 1 and theta max 1 for the figure 1. Delta max 1 and theta max 1 for the figure 1. And delta max 2 and theta max 2 for figure 2. Okay, delta max 1 and theta max 1 for figure 1. And delta max 2 and theta max 2 for figure 2. Then which of the following options are correct? So we have to compare the max, maximum deflection of 1 and 2 and theta. Now, guys, this R will be zero. This R will be zero. And as the supports are at same level and load is only vertical, therefore no horizontal reaction is coming. Guys, for vertical load, horizontal reaction may come. For vertical load, horizontal reaction may come, but when beams are not at same level, supports are not at same level, supports are at same level, so no horizontal reaction. So it will be like this. Now, if I cut it here, from x, y, let the reaction be something r and y, z, since it is symmetry, so same value will be r here, like this. Now, from here, if I, delta y will be same, if this is deflecting like this, delta y will be same now from left or right. So, from left, it is w l 4 by a t i minus r l q by 3 i. From right, it will be downward RL cube by 3i plus WL4 by ATI. From here, R is equal to 0. So, this is equal to 0. That means this part, this part and this part exactly is same because it is also hinged at here having vertical reaction 0. It is also hinged at here and vertical reaction 0. So, both are same. So, this is just twin brothers. So, twin brother, therefore, the delta will be same and theta will be same. Delta and theta will be same. Okay. Now, what is shear stress of a solid circular shaft? Maximum. 16 T by pi d cube. Okay. The maximum shear stress in a solid shaft of circular cross section having diameter d subjective torque t is tau. The maximum is this. If the torque is increased by four times, this is four times of T. And the diameter of increase by two times, pi 2D ka cube. So this is 16T by pi D cube upon 4 by 8. This is 4 and this is 8. So this is 4 by 8. So this is tau. This is tau. So it is tau by 2. C option. Okay, now this once this is P and P0, okay, or P0. P is when they are joined, these two of thickness T and V are joined. 
and without joint without joint when it is only one alone it is p not here when this is the cross section the column strength is p not and when they are joined it is p so ratio by p by p not is of course p will be stronger here it though both are joined so you know that pcr is equal to pi square ei upon l effective square so every other things are same so that means it is only depending on i it is only depending on i so here i minimum moment of inertia will be btq by 12 b into 2t ka cube by 12 and here it is btq by 12 like this okay so width and 2t ka whole cube by 12 and minimum will be this much only and here it will be bt cube by 12 it is proportional to i so this will be 8 let me check let me check let me check guys give me a minute okay 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 sorry 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 the critical loads of the column when perfect bond and without bond okay this is the second case is not this second case is that here now there is no bond but they are two they are two here they are bonded they will be acting as a single unit here they are two but not acting at the single unit so i will not be here b into 2 t key bottle here it will be two times two times because they are not acting as a single unit without bond they are two only this is not only one two steel strips are there i have it is not one but here they will not be joined now in this case suppose this has gone here so when this is gone here suppose this is the load so spring will be pushing it here fs suppose this moved by delta amount so load this clockwise movement p into delta and this will be has to be same fs into l this is clockwise this is anti clockwise so p is equal to fsl by delta what is force in the spring k delta so it is kl now you have seen why it has gone to left hand side let it be left right hand side let it be to left let it be moved to left suppose it is moved by left by delta amount so p is here now when it is moved to left this spring is pushing it back here by fs force so p movement will be force into perpendicular distance that is delta anti clockwise so for equilibrium this fs into l should be clockwise fs is k delta force in the spring is k delta so again p is equal to kl okay so guys this is the thing now let me again tell you guys that uh, you can join us in our sir dhira sir can you please come so guys uh, this is our telegram group civil by abhinav sir and uh, mechanical by dhira sir here we'll be showing our the pdf and uh, this is the sessions i have done you can see them and this is i'll be coming in next couple of days and this is the super saturday this will be from next saturday the fantastic sessions you will be seeing okay so dhira sir shall us finish or you want to say anything yes sir oh just i want to once again tell about the super saturday as sir i've already told you it will be similar to the sunday ka panda so just come and give your love towards this uh, new thing also as you have given in Sunday Ka Fanda so that we can come up with new and new ideas for you guys. So sir, I feel uh, with this, Michelle. Of course, sir. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Keep sharing the video so that more and more students can join in. I hope that we will join the session. And of course, guys, if you want some more sessions now, you can tell us, sir, we want on this topic or this topic of SOM or this guidance you want. Of course, we'll be telling you that also. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Thank you all. Thank you.